Alright. Here's my uh, level 20 twink free trial level uh, tutorial. This is actually my main account. I'm only using it because my subscription is suspended. I'm actually waiting for the weekend of the 21st this month for Alterac Valley Weekend in Cataclysm to level my uh, mage and uh, stumbled upon this by accident. I know it's all the rage on Wowhead at the moment, but I've been doing this for a couple days now. I just thought I'd make a little tutorial, walk y'all through it. Um, as for gear, um, my gear's pretty much maxed for this level. I've got mastery, or actually I've got speed where I can get it. Mastery, since I'm a monk on other items. Um, my cloak is uh, capped out at 346 eye level for level 20. Um, as for gems, I've got the Chi Chi Red Crane for movement speed. I've got the Slay Gem for straight damage, uh, temp to kill under 10% health. I've got the uh, max speed gems in my chest and pants. And I've got the Brilliance Gem, flat versatility increase, um, two handed weapon. Um, as I'm going to be queuing as a tank, being as I'm a monk. I've got the Quick Strike gem, uh, more auto attacks, more damage. Uh, the Wind Weaver, uh, movement speed increased by 5%, increased party's haste. I'm not sure if that includes me or not. And uh, Trailblazer, increased movement speed by 30% when you have an attack for 3 seconds. Since we're boss rushing, um, the speed is what we want to go for. My stats on my cloak right now, um, 1100 plus agility, um, nearing 2,000 stamina, 334 crit, 710 haste, 127 leech, 678 mastery, 124 speed, 573 versatility, and 100% experience gain, which doesn't affect me now. It may when I reactivate my account. I think that's the cap, though. It's been 100% for quite a while. So, let's go ahead and find a heroic dungeon. There's five different dungeons you can do. At level 20, Scarlet Hall, Scarlet Monastery, Shalomans, Temple of Jade, Serpent, and Storm, Stout Brewery. There is also one heroic scenario you can do. It's um, a Brewing Storm, but that takes quite a bit of time. I never run that one. Okay, let's go. I'm recording on my phone because this is the same computer I used for the original Missy Pandaria. It's over 10 years old, running Windows 8. Saved me from a couple of lizard duds like Diablo 4 as one of them. And as you see, we're not attacking anything. Rushing to the first boss. A little laggy. Eventually, his bubble will pop. Let my teammates handle the ads. Looks like they're powerful enough. And these dungeons are completely soloable. Oh, here's the bubble pop kill strike. Now it's time to pop the Chi Rush. We always skip the second boss here. It takes too much time for what we're doing. We're not looting any bosses, letting all of our gear and mainly the experience token gains that you get from the bosses go to our mailbox. Uh, with the Chi Rush, I've got to remember to click it off sometimes if I'm there before the 20 seconds is up for it. Actually got some pretty powerful people here with me. This is pretty easy. Oh. Usually I can get her before Yuan spawns, not this time. Time for Shaw. And Shaw's dead. Leave the group. I'm lagging. 
I tried downloading a couple of older videos to my phone. The quality wasn't great. Not that this is great off a of phone, but it wasn't even completely in frame. Hopefully this one is in frame. I'm going to do one more, then I'm going to shut it off. I can only upload, I think it's 15 minute videos max. I did not time this one, but I'm going to do it part two to this video. And I will time that one, try to get a run of all these dungeons, hopefully without so much lag. Almost always use roll on cooldown and Tiger's Lust on cooldown. Up here at the top, start spamming trash. Also made a macro to warm my party mates, what I'm doing. Um, I'm actually running a little bit of hostility when I don't let people know what I'm doing. So if you make a macro, you can soothe some ruffled feathers. And our cheese on cooldown. So let's use our other speed abilities. I'll use Chi after the second boss here. Use the crane kick a lot as a monk. I try to remember to use keg smash. It can be useful in this dungeon towards the end. Another one down. supposed to use crane and I didn't think so use it here. Sometimes it's better not to use crane so close to the end of the dungeon because the cooldown will carry you with you till the next dungeon. If you're queuing as a healer or a tank. I've actually tried using this same setup as a healer. Um, it's slower and getting into Groups queued as a tank seems to be quick enough. I stopped queuing as a uh, healer also. I don't think the slowdown is worth it, but your mileage may vary. Um, there may be a class where it's better to use healer. Maybe this priest comes to mind. I may not be set up for Mistwalker on this tune since I'm Brewmaster. And here, I'm a wild head over and over again, needs to be nerfed. I don't know what that's all about. So you can see I'm looting here. As long as you loot when you're not close to a boss, you're all right. Sometimes it can get you a little bit of extra stuff. Uh, threads from your cloak and items. Gems also. I was farming for gems pretty hard in here, trying to max those out. And just got another thread for free there. Oh, not bad. Bubble shield. He hasn't been casting that on me, except for like about the last three times. That dungeon's done. Another one done.